The National Retail Federation says holiday retail sales are expected to go up more than 3% from last year to more than $950 billion. Yeah, that's billion with the B. Stephanie Haynes joins us live from Irving, Texas. And Stephanie, explain this to me. How is it that Black Friday continues to break records with online shopping and inflation? Oh, and on Wednesdays, we wear pink, right? Yeah. You know what, Nick? This is one of life's great mysteries. Why do people continue to get up at the crack of dawn, stand in line, brave all of these crowds, and spend money when inflation has been hitting us so hard? And maybe it's something we'll never know, but consumer advocates I spoke to say, look, Black Friday is, you know, partly tradition. This is partly what people are used to doing. It's always been the top shopping day uh, of the year. And also, there are some really good deals, uh, as evidence is right behind me. I'm in Irving, Texas. This is the Best Buy. There's already people. The store opens at 6, so it's not even open yet. People are getting up in line. And listen, inflation has been really tough this past year, but we had some good news. The latest Labor Department data shows that inflation, the rate of it, is slowing down. And another piece of good news, the Wall Street Journal reports a pleasant surprise. Many gifts this year are less than less expensive than they were a year ago. So things like TVs, smartphones, furniture, all of those goods, you name it, supply chain constraints have largely cleared up as of late. And pretty much every retailer is jumping in on this Black Friday season is what uh, some of the consumer advocates are calling it. You know, we look at these streaming services. These are some good deals. Amazon Prime, Hulu, and Paramount Plus all offering major, major price cuts for their platforms over the next few days. Uh, and again, you know, many retailers have expanded their Black Friday deals to go beyond just this day for the whole holiday season. Black Friday itself, while it's still the centerpiece, you could say, of, of the November deal season, it's not the only thing people are going to shop for, or it's not the only day people are going to shop. So this, it's not just about convenience, but it's also about consumers taking advantage of these early deals to spread their spending around. Now, one thing I do want to point out, because WalletHub uh, listed this, uh, reported this, more than one in, in three Americans are for foregoing buying gifts this year because of inflation. So just because we know that that rate is slowing down, Americans are still really feeling it. And, and not spending quite as much, at least when it comes to gifts. And one thing they did tell me is, you know, check the prices before you go out the door. Uh, make sure you look online to see, because sometimes what's in the store actually could still be more expensive than what you can get online. Nick. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.